Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You have the ability to add your own customized fields to the Customers and Jobs, Vendors, Employees, and Item list within QuickBooks. This feature allows you to create fields that you want to have appear for each record within a list. This allows you to track information that is specific to your particular business. For example, you could add custom fields for color, size, and style to your item list that would allow you to create items with the same general description in your inventory and then differentiate between them by color, size, and style. If you add custom fields to your sales forms or purchase orders, QuickBooks will automatically enter the values that are specified for the selected employee, customer, vendor, or item if you enter a value. That does not mean that you must use customized fields within your QuickBooks forms, however. You could simply add a custom field as a way to record information strictly for your own use. For example, recording your opinion of a customer's credit rating. However you use it, QuickBooks will remember the information that you enter into the customized fields when you import and export the data, and also when you memorize transactions. You can add up to seven customized fields to each of the following lists customers and jobs, vendors, and employees. You can only create up to five customized fields within the item list. Custom fields that you add to a list are available to each and every record within the list. You can create custom fields that can appear within the customers and jobs, vendors, and employees lists by opening any one of the three lists, and then opening either the New List Item or Edit List Item windows within the selected list. Now within the window, click the Additional Info tab for the record, and then simply click the Define Fields button that appears at the right side of the tab within the Custom Fields section. This will open the Setup Custom Fields for Names dialog box, where you create your custom fields for all three lists at once. You can add a new custom field to a list by clicking into the first blank row in the label column at the left side of the dialog box and then typing the label that you want to give to the new field. Now to the right of that, you then check the checkbox for each list, which is shown as a column of checkboxes, within which you would like that field to appear. Note that a field can be used by one or more lists. Repeat these steps until you've created all of the necessary custom fields for the three lists shown. Once you are finished, click the OK button to save your changes and return to the selected list item window. You can then input custom field data for new list entries or edit the existing list items to add the new data to the custom fields that you just created. Custom fields are always shown on the Additional Info tab of both the New and Edit windows for the Customers and Jobs, Vendors, and Employee lists. Now adding custom fields to the item list is a bit different from adding custom fields to the other lists. While we haven't explicitly looked at working with the item list in much detail yet, it is an important list within QuickBooks. You place any item that appears within a QuickBooks purchase order, sales receipt, or invoice into the item list. You can access the item list by selecting lists from the menu bar and then choosing the item list command. In the item list window, you can add custom fields by using either the new item or the edit item window. Now within either the new or edit item windows, click the custom fields button that appears at the right side of the window. That will open a Custom Fields for Items dialog box, where you enter the values for any custom fields that you have created within your item list. 
you can create additional custom fields by clicking the Define Fields button to open the Setup Custom Fields for Items dialog box, where you can add a new custom field by typing a label for the new custom field into the first available blank row under the Label column. and then checking the adjacent Use checkbox for that row. Now when you're finished, you can click the OK button to create and use the new fields. You can then enter a custom field value for the current item if needed. Then click the OK button again within the Custom Fields window to return to the main item window when finished, and then click the OK button once again to save the record. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.